My name is Michelle Dennity. I'm the Chief Executive Officer of Drumwave. Every day you wake up in the morning, you check your email, you get in your car, you're using GPS, you're typing into your systems, whatever they are, or tapping on a screen somewhere, or downloading some free Wi-Fi. You are creating more and more information yourself. Be aware that your digital activity is very similar to a digital tattoo. There's a lot of information that goes out. It's very difficult to retract. Not everything is innocuous and many things are taking your digital fingerprints and treating them and turning them into something more permanent like a digital tattoo. It's something that seems so innocent at the time, but later on you're looking back at it and going, did I really need to get my first boyfriend tattooed on my body forever? Maybe not. You may have shared something that you regret later. We have all done it. Does this mean that you have relinquished your rights to have privacy online, to have integrity, to tell your own story? My opinion is absolutely not. There are many situations where we change our minds, we change our hairstyles, we change our opinions. Maybe even when we admit that we're wrong with political choices that we've made. We have a right to continue to tell our data story in the way that we want to tell it, as long as it doesn't interfere with other people around us. I'll give you an example. If I decided to be a bank robber and I get caught, I may not be able to delete that information from the public record. It helps for banks to say, sayonara lady, we don't need you in our bank. On the other hand, if I've shared images with an intimate partner and that person has betrayed my trust and shared those images, you absolutely have the right to get those images back and to clean up your act, if you will, and change your perspective and your, and your point of view and your reputation. Privacy is a right. Your right to have the integrity of your story told to whom and when you want.